and welcome back. Oh yeah, we're uh, <laughs> we, uh, f uh, pretty much skipped ahead a bit, so now okay. everyone will have to see all the carnage that I had to go and sue. Yeah, but the classroom yes. key. Yeah. So all we did was go from the roof, go all the way back down to the garden, or I guess the courtyard, and then grab the key that we got from turning on the water and using the rubber ball with. Mm. I, you know, everybody, it's been like a week since we played this. I forgot how knock kneed our character was. Yeah. My goodness, man. Um, oh, right. Like I was saying, um, I had been online shopping and perusing around for um, some new video game headsets. I was telling I was telling the Hatter off camera uh -oh. I've been doing that. Um, and through my extensive searching and reviewing and stuff, it, I ended up going with um, the Turtle Beach 400. I know they have a Turtle Beach 500 model out, but uh, looking at everything, um, a lot of people had said that there were issues with the 500. Um, that was like hissing noises and the Dolby Digital oh, sound. A book. A book. Oh. But yeah. Uh, wait, one, oh, okay. One of these books is the one I can read. Oh, yep, I want that. The first aid book. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, okay. Here's a cool thing too. I don't know why they didn't do this, but in the Japanese and European version, there's a book here mm -hmm. that uh, explains more about the story, about oh. ghosts and apparitions, and supernatural. Don't know why they didn't put it in the English version, but either way. Okay, well, do you remember any of it? Or? Um, no, but you can talk. Go look on my good friends on uh, Twin Perfect and Fungo, who does the uh, real life experience of Silent Hill. Oh, watch really? those videos; they're fun. Oh, they're good if you want to figure out um, What's all the lore on? of Silent Hill from one all the way to the latest one. Is those are are they the real life videos like the people who did the Mortal Kombat ones? No, they. Uh, they call it the real life experience, but it's actually the three guys, two guys who do Twin Perfect, one guy who does Fungo, who, who is Fungo, mm. and they get together and they pretty much explain the lore of Silent Hill from one all the way to present. Oh, I have to. And I know there's a couple of people who've done some really good uh, life, life action ones of Silent Hill, which are pretty good. You, what? Oh, The Monster Lurks is the book title. Oh yeah, well yeah, this ex uh, helps explain, uh, yep, right oh. here. Manifestation of delusions. Poltergeists are among these. Negative emotions like fear, worry, or stress manifest to external energy with physical effects. Now, oh, nightmares have, in some cases, been shown to trigger them. However, such phenomenon do not appear to happen to just anyone. Yeah. Although it's not clear why, adolescents, especially girls, are prone to such occurrences. Is that true? Mm hmm You know, I've thought about it because, um, have we ever told ghost stories? On the uh, show yet? I don't think so, not yet. But okay, apparently, so. these guys would love to hear it, and well, at least all three of them. Well, and let's get out of here. Yes, all five of our fans would mm -hmm. love to hear about our ghost stories. Um, it's it's strange that oh, yeah, it um, supernatural occurrences. I know. I took a, a break from the riveting. Hearing this, the hunter armed with a bow and arrow said, "I will kill the lizard." Yeah, see that thing right there? Yeah. Remember that. Okay. But upon meeting his opponent, he'd held back, taunting, Who's afraid of a reptile? Really? Mm-hmm. At this, the furious lizard hissed, I'll swallow you up in a single bite. Then the huge creature attacked, jaws opened wide. This was what the man wanted. Calmly drawing his bow, he shot into the lizard's gaping mouth. Aw. Mm-hmm. Effortlessly, the arrow flew, piercing the defenseless maw. And the lizard fell down dead. Yep. <laughs> This is from an old fairy tale. Ah. Yep. Uh, yep, that was I remember the reading most, it as a kid. The, uh, that was the most... Oh, yeah, this is from an old fairy tale. I remember reading it as a kid. I forgot the voice that I did for that guy. Matter of fact, I forgot I spoke for that guy. Where's yep. his voice actor? Uh, anyway. Not, not in most of these. I digress. Uh, what was I talking about before? Ghost stories. Okay. Right. Ghost stories. Um, From my riveting shopping tale. Uh, a lot of supernatural stuff happens... Uh, that I've seen, that I've witnessed, that I've been a part of. Well, I guess <laughs> the school is a good a good time to tell those. Yeah. Stories. Um. I. Okay, I think I hear. I had Hold a person. I think you can see which one of. Uh, who I knew back in high school who. Right here. We usually, to, you can find little the uh, little spirit kids, running around school. Oh, uh, that's not good. 
I don't. Uh, well, I can hear the thing laughing, but I guess it's not showing up. Oh, oh, oh there oh, you are. No, that's not spirit kid. That's just a husk, monkey Some. I guess. And the camera angle is wonky. I kind of like that it does that. Yeah, I, did that. I know they did it on purpose. That's the point. I mean, that's, it looks like it's freaky and scary. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I like that as a dynamic of the game. Of the video game. Yeah. Um, But I had this guy who I used to know uh, back in high school who we used to go over his house. And he told us that his house um, had some guests. And that um, there were two of them in particular. There was... Uh, an old lady who uh, used to stay in his attic, and then ah oh, darn it, I was hoping I could run, an, but nope. An older uh, gentleman who uh, used to wander around the main level of the house because he had uh, an attic, a second floor, a first floor, Ooh. and a basement. Oh, okay. And um, so both of these people died in the house at different times, and they were the previous owners and whatnot. So. Um, we were. Oh, you're not gonna get me caught purchase. It was during oh, the daytime, oh, and we were down in his basement. We were doing something. I think we were filming something for school. I said I was in high school at the time, right? Yeah. Yeah, we were filming something for school, and he was telling us, um, like, yeah, you know, it's strange. I'll be down here in the basement. I'll be alone in the house, and um, I'll hear a recliner. Because he had a recliner on the main floor that his dad used to always sit in. I hear the recliner upstairs creak. And then sometimes, you know, I'll um, smell cigar smoke that comes out of nowhere and nobody in this house smokes. Hmm. Uh, especially, hmm. you know, not Uh-oh. me. And we were like, oh, okay. And so we tried to pass it off. And we were just so happened to be downstairs, broad daylight. It was about 2 or 3 in the afternoon. Yep. And all of a sudden, we hear this creak. Of, this, of the recliner, clear as day. And we hear, like, adjusting in it, like somebody's moving around. And he went to the stairs, and this guy's bigger than me. Um, he went to the stairs, and he called up. He's like, Dad, you home? Nobody answered. And I said, that's weird. So we waited for about another 10 minutes. Nothing else happened. So I said, all right, I'm going to go upstairs and look. Because somebody is messing with that chair. And I go up, and the chair is still in the upright position. It's not drawn back. I said, well, that's weird. Running into the thing. So I get back downstairs. And he had a dog that was downstairs uh, with us at the time. And the dog left. Like, the dog <laughs> went upstairs. And we were like, oh, you know, it's whatever. The dog leaves. Yeah. As soon as the dog left, maybe not two to three minutes later, I smelled thick, heavy cigar smoke. And it's crazy because I felt a cool breeze across my face. Like, somebody was blowing across my face. And I smelled cigar smoke. And I said... Uh, what is that? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. And then everybody else smelled. And I was like, it, it's time to go. Yeah, it's, pretty much. It's just time to leave. I can't deal with this right now. <laughs> so we uh, had to cut it short that I bet day. After that. Because I felt uncomfortable. Then it was another time where um, at the same person's house, the um, another one of my friends was going over. And uh, the friend who lived at the house wasn't there. So my friend, he was waiting for him. Um, <laughs> he was waiting for him on the porch. And he said he had his back to the house. And then all of a sudden in his ear, he heard somebody whisper, Brian. And he that said suck. he ran from the house. And he was like, you know what? I think I'm just going to wait down the street. Oh, yes. Oh, that would be good. Um, and then... I, the last ghastly tale. Um, my friend who actually lived at the house. No, it was that same friend who heard the whisper said he was waiting. Um, this was a different occasion. He was waiting across the street from the house. And he was looking at it. And I think it was after he heard the whisper in his ear. And he said... I would do some things. And this is all happening during the day while the sun's up. Hmm. And he said he was looking at the house, and he just so happened to look up because the attic had a window mm-hmm. uh, that faced the street. He just so happened to look up, and he said he saw an old woman. Great. Yeah. Great imagery. He saw an old woman standing looking out at the street, and he said that's not what freaked him out. Oh, no. Knew- this did, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Is that a salamander? That's the lizard I was telling you about. Oh, my goodness. Where's our laser oh. gun? Ow. 
Uh, laser gun don't work well with the bosses. Bosses. Oh. Well, at least not my handgun. Remember, I, I, we made it hard for ourselves, so it's only oh, use handgun bullets. That's right, man. That and so the lumberjack wasn't afraid of this thing. I was uh, think, oh, I think it was supposed to be a hunter, but nope. Oh my goodness, he w wow! I would be afraid of that thing because that thing is bigger than the Komodo dragon, and the Komodo dragon is nothing to play with. Mm-hmm. Now this thing's just following me right now. Now, like. The, the story said we had to pretty much wait till it opens it, its mouth so we can shoot it in the mouth. So uh, that way we don't have to worry about it. We have no uh, bow and arrow set, and I don't think we're master archers in this game. Nope. But, um... But, oh yeah, like I was saying, so he saw this old woman that was standing in the window, and he said that's not what freaked him out. He said, as he was standing, uh, looking at the woman in the window, he looked down, so he started at the top of her head, started looking down, and he said, Did he die? Oh, okay, now it's starting to open up his mouth now. Oh, so he just had to take a dump. No, I had to right. shoot him enough time to do it. Oh. Hopefully, he'll be like, you know. Oh, no, 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 Oh, my no, no. God. Oh, okay, yep, okay, I did that. What the hell? Yep, that's. What, oh, yeah, he's fasting now, and he's pissed off. Wow. That's one hell of a mouth opening. Mm hmm. Uh, if no. I could just get far enough away from him so I can, you know. Shoot him again? Yeah. Uh, you know, that's the thing about PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 controls, up to a certain extent, yeah. is that it's wonky. Well, and I know it's, it's, it's the beginning, but I'm just like, okay, now. And the game mechanics, they make okay, it let me hard just, to turn. Back up, come on. Open your mouth. Open your say, mouth. Uh, Open your mouth and say, ah. Uh. Darn it, I that did it right. didn't work. No, I only shot him once in the mouth. I gotta do it twice in the mouth. Uh, come on, open. Open. Darn it. Uh, I hate this part. I was about to say. I just can't do it because you have to do it just right or you're just wasting ammo. Oh. Because he's supposed to, like, fall down dead, right? Oh. Nope, he killed me, though. Oh, God. Yep. Is this a death animation? Yep. Sweet. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Good thing is we start right there. Okay. Awesome. Um. But now, anyway. like I said, this is the most of the part that I'm going to keep dying over and over because <laughs> he just does not want to just you know, open that mouth and keep it open. Uh, you know, most of the time, t things that do that tend not to. No. Nope. Tend not to. Okay. No, no, wait, we'll see. Yeah. Okay, so we're here. We're still... Oh, he's coming. Huh. That's a new me, of course. Yeah. Um, but... Come on, say ah. Uh, mm-hmm. I know you want it. Um... But he was looking at the old woman. Hope y'all have your snacks. He was looking at the old woman and following her down. And he said about at her waist, that's where she stopped. Mm. And he was like, no. So he rubbed his eyes and looked back up the window. Ah, oh, see, I shot him twice and it still died. Maybe since it's so hard we have to shoot him. No, it's no, twice. No. I've already done it before. Oh. Once is usually how it does on other ones. Twice in this one. See, you got to do it just right. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure everyone else says you have to be in a corner. Yes, sometimes I do, but sometimes it still doesn't matter. <laughs> still, <laughs> son of a bitch. I mean, because this is the part that usually took so long for me. Because to get a ten star ranking, you can only I think you, you can't only you can only use two continues, and I always do this wrong. So you have to start over. No, I could get to a save. I can I can save at least two times to get a, a ten star ranking. Oh, uh, okay. Alright, come on, I'm in a corner now. You know what, what you want to do. Um, what he said, that, uh, that's a slow, uh, yep. what was that? That's a mouth open, of course, head open. Oh, I was reloading. Oh, no, wow. Like I said, this may take a while, everybody. Wow. Um, but yeah, he said he saw, again, after he rubbed his eyes and looked up, that the woman was still staring out the window and only half of her was there. He said, I, I went home that day. Yeah. I and I don't blame him. I don't blame mm -hmm. when you see half an apparition, that's when you know, maybe not the best idea. Yeah, that's so, usually the best thing to do. Oh, but yeah, that house was creepy. Because uh, it was one of those older houses mm -hmm. that was like made out of wood, creaked a lot. And it's like, oh, God, dude, really? You live here comfortably? Mm, don't believe it. Does that thing have a tail? It doesn't no. have a tail. I know I need to shoot, some, uh, sometimes I have to shoot it enough times so that way it'll be weak enough 
when he opens his mouth, but I don't know. He'll take an epic yawn because he lost so much blood. Some, I know, because right there, when he's drooling that much, that means he's, he's, he's hurting. Oh, too bad we can't kill him then. That'd I know. Convenient. He's pretty much invincible. If I don't, uh, yep. Oh, God. Well, I think we dodged him that time. Oh, yeah, we did, but because I didn't go completely into the corner, but... Um... See, I think you got one off. Oh, yeah, but I have to do twice. Can't okay, see? Uh, do you want to do it next time? Uh... Yeah, well, we can try to see if we can fast forward a bit, but I don't know. Well, I mean, we're already at... Yeah, I know, but I'll just... I'll, we'll try one more time, and if not, okay. then we'll... Uh, try to fast forward it on the next one. Yeah. Because like I said, this is the only part that I ever get stuck on because it's just... Just right. You so, have to do it just right. I didn't know it had to be two consecutive shots. Yeah, it has to be two consecutive shots. Because I can shoot him all day long on the outside, but it doesn't do anything for him. And our character doesn't... Oh, wow. That's the first time I've seen a head bucket. Yeah. Uh, our character doesn't seem quite like the dead shot type of character. He seems more like the nervous... Oh, God. My head's just... No, well, oh. he's not really, I guess, the shot. It's not fair. Yeah, he's, a, he's a, an everyday man. He is the everyday man. Uh... Yep, see, well... Well... Shwink. Then we're gonna have to take a pause here. Yep. And get our stuff together. <laughs> we'll mm -hmm. be back uh, with this thing beaten uh, in the next episode. Oh, so, yeah. I am Shade. I'm Matt Adder. And we will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.